Hey guys, I got a really cool project for us. We are going to build a Z80 computer and it's going to run a very old version, one of the first versions of BASIC from Microsoft. So the idea for this project is we're going to use this Z80 uh, kit. It's called the Classic 2 from Z80 kits. We are going to uh, look at each of the boards. There's five boards involved. We have to solder the boards together, so you'll learn to solder if you don't know how. And if you do, you can just follow along. We will look at the schematics of each of the boards to try to figure out, well, what is this doing? How does this work? And at the very end, when we put it all together, we will have a working Z80 computer that will actually run one of the original versions of Microsoft Basic from the 80s. I'm really excited about this project because I think it'll be a lot of fun. We'll do each of the boards as a separate episode, so there's no rush. All right, so let's go ahead and open the box and see what we've got. Once we're done opening this, we'll look at each of the PCBs. I will also go back to the website. I will show you exactly what I ordered if you decide you want to do this project. I'll show you kind of what it's going to look like at the end based on some of their photos. And then in the next episode, we'll actually start with the first board. Okay. Invoice there. I was told they had really, really good instructions, by the way, which I think is paramount, especially if you're learning to do things. So of course, we'll go through those. They have a beautiful schematic of the entire project, which is what we'll do is we will go through, like we'll probably start with just the clock and the reset PCB. And we'll discuss everything about that. We'll build it. Maybe I'll put it up on the scope or something, show you the timing, that kind of thing. And then we've got all the PCBs and the parts here. Now, you might have heard the Zilog Z80 is no longer going to be manufactured, but that shouldn't stop you from doing this project. There are so many Z80 processors out there. They're, they're a, a cool... Uh, first gen retro kind of CPU, 8 bit, 16 bit bus. I mean, this is going to be a, a really cool project. And I, I'm going to really try to focus on how it works, not just putting it together and you see BASIC come up. This is actually building one of the first Z80 8 bit computers from the 70s and, and 80s. And I want us to understand how it works. And then maybe we can even do more with it. Maybe we can design our own boards to plug into it. I don't know. But um, let's go back to the bench. I will now show you uh, the website. Um, the, the discount code will be listed below. It's only good for a month. So if you're watching this video in the future um, and it's not down there, sorry, but it's still worth it. I paid full price for mine, just so you know. I didn't even get a discount. I talked to them about getting a discount for you, my viewers, after I thought, uh, um, thought through the project. I thought it would be kind of a cool idea. So anyway, we'll go back to my uh, computer, and I'll show you some screenshots and stuff. This is going to be a short initial video, just to kind of get you warmed up and excited about the project. All right, let's go to the computer. Hey, guys. So if you want to follow along with this Z80 project, this is what you need to purchase. It's the RC2014 Classic 2 from the Z80 kits. Um, you will want to get the full kit, and I recommend that you go ahead and just get the, um, the USB CDC adapter. That adapter allows you to easily communicate with the serial I.O. card. It plugs into it, the serial I.O. card, and makes it easy for you to communicate using a terminal program like putty or something else to actually use the computer since we won't be adding a monitor or anything at this time though i believe that's an option uh they sell a number of interesting kits so anyway 
This is what you need to get. The link will be down below in the description and there might be a discount code down below as well for 10% off. If you don't see the code, it's probably because it's already expired. It's only good for a month. Um, but I still recommend that you buy the kit. I, I paid a full price for mine. I did not get a discount. Um, this is a project I wanted to do for my channel. I'm not sponsored or anything by the Z80 kits people other than this discount for you. So again, if you want to follow along, this is what you need to purchase. Um, let's take a look here. This is the, uh, the five volt USB interface. It kind of just shows you, you can plug your computer into it and it'll be easy to, um, to communicate with the device when we're done. As we build the device, we'll be, um, oh, this is a really good uh, resource for the documentation. And they talk about all the boards and what they do and how he's got memory laid out. And we'll get, we're going to go through all of that. So the plan is, is to um, kind of start at the right over here. And we're going to work our way to the left. And one video each for each of the boards. And then probably like a final video where we put it together and mess around with basic and maybe uh, some other ROMs. I can burn additional ROMs for it and explain that process to you as well. So I'm really looking forward to this project. This is something I've wanted to do for quite some time. And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, pretty much anybody should be able to build this. If you've never soldered before, there's probably going to be a little bit of uh, additional complexity, you know, learning to solder. But I, I don't think I'd let that stop you. Um, you can pick up a soldering iron fairly cheap. Uh, there's tons of videos online about how to solder. I think that the whole thing with this is it's it's the, the retro feel. We're going to build an old school computer that has a very old version of Microsoft Basic on it. And we're going to learn also how a computer actually functions, how it works, what the architecture is. And uh, anyway, I hope you're along for the ride. Um, thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next videos. It'll probably be a couple weeks before the next one comes out when I start building the first, the clock reset board. So uh, thank you guys very much, and uh, I look forward to you watching. Uh, remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. All right, guys, take it easy.